The Caribbean Development Bank came into existence in 1970, and it has been working towards economic growth and poverty reduction in its member countries. Concerns have grown over youth issues in the Caribbean and the need to promote youth as active players in national development. CDB's strategic focus has led to investments that directly contribute to the development of our youth. In the Caribbean, two-thirds of the population is under the age of 30. It is estimated that over 8 million adolescents and youth live in the Caribbean. If properly motivated, if strongly encouraged, young people can play a vital role in the development of the region. But if their vigor and talents are left unharnessed, then Caribbean youth become vulnerable to a number of risks. Unemployment, early school dropout, HIV, crime, adolescent pregnancies, among others, are all tangible threats just around the corner. CDB is furthering its drive in youth and development through implementation of several initiatives that seek to build strategic alliances with the youth, the public, private, and non-governmental sectors. Greg, Nikita, and Andrea are all typical of young people in the Caribbean who are going through different issues. Okay, I'm 23 years old and everyone calls me Greg. I never lived here in Barbados for all my life. I can honestly probably say five years ago I was making plans, making steps toward building a, a, a what, do I, what I thought or what I still think is a strong future, but as time went by, well, the time flies so fast. I mean, time really whisked by five years. Looking at it now, it, it doesn't even feel like five years, but sometimes I still feel like I'm still where I was at five years ago. I have to wake up at five o'clock to get her ready, take her to school. And it, it, sometimes it gets me very depressed because it, it's so hard at times. When I got diagnosed, I was uh, 22, and I went to the doctor, and um, he assumed that it was rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I wasn't, you know, I didn't accept it then. BNTF stands for Basic Need Trust Fund. The objective of the BNTF program is to assist low-income communities in planning and implementing projects to improve their access to essential services through the provision of social and economic infrastructure and the opportunities for the development of skills to enhance employability. CDB at times will work with other institutions in other countries to fund projects. For example, in Belize, Social Investment Fund, through grants from the CDB, has financed programs in specific geographical areas. Buena Vista was in dire need of a constant and adequate water supply. It was so hard for the people uh, that didn't have no water. They had it to go away to the river at the entrance to haul the water because the wells from the village, they used to dig the wells, but their, their water is not healthy. We didn't have water and we suffered a lot because we sometimes we have to drink water from creeks or ponds that wasn't good for drink. And we sometimes we catch diseases because of that. Los niños de escuela sufrían mucho y padecían a veces de vómito, de diarrea por tomar esa agua sucia. Estamos sufriendo. ¿No? Por motivo del agua, pues La gente, los niños, sufrían por de no bañar y tomando agua sucia. Pero ahora sí, estamos bien. Placencia is one of the busiest tourist destinations in Belize. 
I'm from one of the oldest families in this village. This used to be a fishing village um, and lobster diving. Now it has gone into tourism more. At least um, 80 to 90 percent of the people here depend on tourism. So it's a good thing for us to um, get into diving, to get some of the kids off the street, give them something to do. Recibo Lomote Bobalisi, Hopkins and Ogia. We have a lot of challenges, like especially when dealing, when doing the, um, especially for a living for yourself. You really need to be certified, really educated in order for you to do anything. This program um, came about because of the pressures of fishing from the coastal communities and um, through social investment fund and our efforts. Um, we managed to find alternative livelihood for locals, those who um, spend a lot of time in fishing, the, to give them some opportunity in the tourism business. I got into this and I really enjoyed doing it. I found out that I, I, can, be, I can still be part of the sea, helping in a conservation area or recreational purposes. Do you know we have a, a more business opening in the community, a lot of tourists coming over, and that way we don't have to bring people from other places, we can just um, hire people from the community to work, so it's really good. I actually had the privilege of sharing the knowledge that I've gained over the years um, with my students, and then also I was involved in the first program being sponsored by SIF and Friends of Nature, and then um, the second time around, I was a part of the instructor team instead of being a student this time. As a dive master, the trainee will be readily employable within Belize's tourism sector. So following the passage of Hurricane Ivan in, in 2004, um, the government of Grenada in consultation with Caribbean Development Bank, they have decided to refocus the program and we are basically focused on three main sectors, education, health and water. After I went, it was kind of a tiresome for the others, for the female and male, because we didn't have a facility to really go to at the moment. And I think it was a good idea that they start back fresh, so I come and enroll her, and so far she's doing so good in the school. And it benefits me financially and economically, because um, at that time, September last year, I was unemployed, and since then, he was able to mind my family because I'm a married man with two kids and I have to look after my future. So in so doing it, he gave me a big push towards better in my economic stance. Holy Ghost School in Dangriga Town is typical of one of the many projects the CDB has undertaken in the region. Education is essential toward reducing poverty.